Hello everyone. My name is Darkness King Twenty Two. Typically you know me as the captain of the Depressed Starship, but today you shall know me as the host of Inconsistently Consistent with my brother Xander, who is not currently in it just this moment in time. I'll be loading in and he should be joining as soon as I load in. So to set the vibe, this thing could be, it's, the reason why it's called consistently inconsistent, inconsistently consistent, consistently inconsistent, sorry, but, is because the show will be consistent, but the topics will not. It is a idea that I had, and I wanted to do it with my brother, and we're going to do it. And it's going to be a total, massive, giant shit show until we can figure out how everything works out properly. So while we do that, let me see if Xander is in yet. Now, the show, I've always kind of wanted to do a podcast slash vlog type sort of thing, so that's what this is going to kind of be like. Um, and the background you'll see is that we're going to be playing... Okay. Um, and... stuff set up. My third video for God of War is at 89%. Nice. I would totally watch that if I didn't have plans on playing that fucking game. Yeah. Oh, um, hey, God Godzilla is so back far, in the I've been shop. disappointed why have you been so far, I've been disappointed with one of the characters. Oh, is it Atreus? I feel like it's Atreus. No, actually, I I really like this character. Oh, okay. Well, don't ruin it for the viewers. The only thing I'll the only thing I'll say is that it's a god. Oh, okay. Yeah, as of right now, I'm very disappointed in in the character. So, do you want to do like talk through Discord? Uh, I figured for this one we just do it through here since I'm already set up and whatnot. Okay, let me and then, ne then. And then next week we will uh, do it through Discord. Hopefully we have okay. something else figured out besides Fall Guys. Minecraft. But, let me see. Um, let me go to settings. Audio. Oh. So, do you want to do oh, so? You, you want me to just live up on everything? D the B, E blunder doom S, E sunken P, squad show and solo show. Jeez. <laughs> but uh, while you're sitting there. As the co-host of this show, say hello. I don't care if no one can see this. I'm used to talking with my hands. Is that are you there? I think we lost him for a second, so we will wait on him. 
Huh. Well, I'm hoping he gets back in here because I don't feel like stopping my stream for a fourth time. I feel it's just a way to get me into his Discord. I'm gonna just smack him in the mouth. Uh, I'm talking about Xander. Wait for him. Let's have a quick round. Buddy. Shit, dude. Fucking let go of it, Jesus Christ, dude. He's the last person too. Wait, that was it. That's all I had to do.
that means. Last ball. There's a fucking cuphead skin in this game. Xander's doing, he just exited out. I'm trying to do this thing, but I... Xander and I were supposed to do that thing, but I don't know what he's doing. I get ready to go to bed soon. The inconsistently consistent's not happening at this moment. It was supposed to be simple. He got in, did the thing, do the stuff, and then that'd be it. But I think something happened on his end, so I'm not too sure what's going on. There it is. these games uh so it's for the weird ass um event going on d okay. to b okay all right my my, my internet decided to take a shit uh, i was wondering what happened on your end. yeah but that yes is... i do have minecraft yeah i i tried just because it wasn't working so i decided to get a fucking server but some of the transaction isn't working. Yeah, anyways, let's go over to search. Alright. But, yes. as the co host, Xander, finally that you're here, go ahead and introduce yourself to the world. Uh, okay. Yeah, appropriate. Very appropriate. <laughs> uh, I thought I'd trust me. Definitely. So, hmm. 
As I was saying to you all earlier, this show is about being consistent at being inconsistent. And much like the and much like the proper gods that we are. Uh, mm -hmm. The first episode is going to be simple. It's just an interview that might lead into other topics, but it's just an interview right now between uh. Xander and I. Uh. So, Xander, we will play a mm. game of rock, paper, scissors. All right, here we go. How? Wait, wait, how? <laughs> wait. <laughs> I'm kidding. Wait. We shall flip a coin. We will flip oh, a coin. No, Do you want heads or tails? I just... I trust that even less. Um, head. Siri, flip a coin. Oh, okay, you're gonna go Siri here. Basically. Siri, flip a coin. Okay. It's heads. Yay, so what's that mean? It means you get to ask the first question. Yay, I get to feel important. Um. <laughs> Shit. Ah, oh, fuck, my mic's muted. There we go. <laughs> muted? I can hear you just fine. <laughs> nah, I mean, like, for my recording. Oh, shit. <laughs> that that went bad so fast. <laughs> God damn, that sucks. <laughs> I'll probably just steal yours. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. It needs edited out a little bit. There's 20 minutes of talking that happened that wasn't inconsistently consistent, but it's fine. Anyways, so, yes, you get to ask the first question. I was so unprepared. Where are my notes? <laughs> that, that's the best part about this. You don't have to be prepared. This can happen. Okay. 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 Give me a number one, two, four. One to four. You only have four questions. I have five. Well, it's technically six. Okay. Uh, I will take number three. Number three. Okay. What would you say are some barriers? that are stopping you from achieving your goals on YouTube. Well, I don't really have goals for YouTube, but for Twitch, I would say not having my computer up and running is definitely causing some problems. Um, I tried to fix it with the flickering on the home screen, but it just made it worse. So, yeah. Until I get that up and running, there's some games that I just won't be able to play because, ow, because of everything going on on my computer. I, uh, oh, what was it? I actually, okay, I actually just bought myself some more, uh, storage. Oh, well, how was that? It, uh, to tell you the original price, the original price is like $200. Not bad. A terabyte. And, uh, please, wall down. Thank you. Okay, but, uh, for one terabyte, it is, I think, yeah, about $200, and thanks to Black Friday, it is $90. Nice. And so I got a pretty okay deal. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'd say so. <sighs> Alright. Yeah, that's, that's something Aww. that, like, the only issue I run into on my end of things is more or less, uh, work. I understand that. Work does get to us all. Yeah. That, that's why my stream schedule changed a little bit. Because, mm -hmm. like, with mine, I get mandated, like, three times a week, so it's kind of a... Don't really have enough energy to do anything. Hey, it's understandable. Mm -hmm. Eventually, once you build up seniority, you'll be able to tell them to go fuck themselves. Yeah, 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 exactly. Okay, your turn. Alright, question one through five, which would you prefer? Two. Growing up, did you have a favorite sibling, and why? Hmm. I hated you all equally. So kinda, <laughs> huh. What the hell is this? Oh, that's pretty sweet. Um. Hmm. It definitely wasn't Seth. We both know that. <laughs> I think we all know that. Oh, shit! Oh, yeah, I know. Uh, it definitely wasn't Seth. Um, 
Honestly, it was it was probably a Alexis. I understand that. She did raise and take care of you. She was yeah. basically like your mom. Yeah. Egg, exactly. If it wasn't yeah, her. So, so she. What? If it wasn't her, it was grandma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is true. That is one hundred percent true. But yeah, I'd have to say her for that reason. Hmm. All right. Fair enough. I know the answer you wanted, you son of a bitch. <laughs> no, that's actually what I kind of expected. Oh, okay, that's fair. Yeah. Did you make it? No, I I died in the first round. Oh, okay. All right. So, uh, not my turn again. Yep, I will take question five. Five? Okay. Who were your inspirations growing up? Like, what do you mean? I feel like watching Markiplier and Game Grumps and all them back in the day. Um, mm -hmm. I sat there and it's just like, hey, you know, I could get in front of people and do this. It's not that hard to do. I can talk and keep a crowd going, which in fact, I cannot talk and keep a crowd going, which is hilarious to me. <laughs> uh, and in the process of doing so, I've discovered more about myself and how I fear people so much more than I thought I did. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. So, it's challenging in a way, but I just listen. I go back through and listen to what Mark and the Game Grump says that you know you just gotta power through and you gotta force yourself to do it. As long as you force yourself to do it, you will have a means to do what you want to do, and eventually you get your um, footing, and then you'll know what you're gonna do from that point on. Mhm. Mm yeah, I can fully get behind that. The uh, heck. The amount of times I've deleted and restarted channels, it's not even funny. Yeah, you're like on your 17th channel now. Yeah, yeah, ex exactly. I mean, my YouTube channel wasn't even meant for gaming or anything like that. I, it was originally for my band I was part of years ago. Band? What? I had no idea about that, what? Yeah, I was part of a band with Zach Justice, Zach Renner, a couple guys, it was called Bloodshot. It was a, it was a fun time. We didn't really do much of anything because we were kind of hot garbo, but hot garbo, hot garbo, the hottest of garbo, though. Damn it! Yeah. The. Uh... What to say now? Yeah, I I have to agree with you though about that. Is like with them being the in in inspirations. For me, one of mine is, uh, well, both of yours and Jack. I understand Jack. He, he's got a very bombastic personality to him. For me, with the Game Grumps, it's so much more of having a team behind you, like Van House and all them. If I can have a team yeah, with me, I yeah. can free flow off my friends and not have to go off the top of my head. Yeah, I know. That's, that's the same thing I, I feel with it, too, is that it's easier to talk with the person that you're with and not have the stress of going like, oh, am I being funny enough? Am I being this? Am I being that? Yeah, and that, that's also like another thing that they talk about is don't worry about the things that, uh, don't worry about the little things because eventually you'll discover if you are funny without uh, on your own. And you don't necessarily have to be funny to get a crowd. Yeah. Hey, look at me. Hell, I, there's there's already a, like. Uh, a good YouTuber, for example, is like the the Rad Brad. Don't have you ever watched him? No. The Rad Brad. He's been around for a long, long time. But he, uh, all he does is just do, uh, like gameplay of every single game that comes out, pretty much. And he, uh, like, sure he'll crack jokes every every now and then, but he doesn't. Not really funny. He just. Plays the video game, talks about the video game and stuff going on in his life. And it's just interesting to watch. Yeah, and see, it's just it's different. That that's how it should be because sometimes a lot of people just do the try to be funny, and a lot of times you're not funny. Like if you'll notice, some of my streams I am not funny at all, and you can uh, tell I'm trying to be funny. But whenever I have like you or my brother or someone like that. Um, on the funny just naturally comes out. Uh, 
You're there. I hear you. Okay. I fucking got disconnected again. Anyway, so what, what were you saying? Uh, I said like that. A lot of people that start out try to go the funny route because funny does draw views. But um, I was like, if you look at me, you can tell there are times when I'm trying to be funny, and it's very, very cringy. But um, mm -hmm. there are times like when it's me or you or me and my brother George or me and my friends where I'm just naturally funny because I'm piggybacking off my friends and whatnot. Yeah. The uh, oh, what what would be the best example of something? Like, through, especially through my God of War playthrough I had going on. Like, I'll try and make jokes, which they don't really shoot out that well. Mm -hmm. But I've now, just, I've now just accepted the fact that, like, this is just a playthrough of a serious game. And the only time I'll ever, like, if there's a funny moment is if I get mad. Because, Jesus Christ, I have died a lot. <laughs> oh, man, you should have seen my playthrough of fucking uh, Fallen Order. Fall in order, I had a very rough time. Mother effer. Um, alright, so that would bring it back to me. I think we lost him, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully he comes back. I survived. I should be able to do this. Oh 
Oh shit. I thought I had it. Oh well. But that that's one issue around the workout for Xander's his internet problem with Ferrotone on his end. I feel bad that it kicked him out. He didn't deserve that. So we will wait and see what happens. Did it kick me out too? No, okay. God. There he is. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Where did I leave off? Uh, we left on transitioning to my next question. Okay. Because my f my phone died and that's why I'm using right now for hotspot. Ah, uh, okay. What's wrong with your internet? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't paid the I haven't paid the bill this month, so that's probably what it is. That's probably what that is. All right. So you asked yeah. me what question number two was last time. So. Mhm. Mm um, one. Do you know the Muffin Man? That's your comedy joke, really? It's actually not a comedy <laughs> joke, so much more of a serious topic about what it actually means. Are you talking about the one that lives on... Yes, I'm talking about the one lane. who It's Drury Lane, but yes. Drury Lane, okay, that's close enough. It's actually close a warning. Enough. How is it a warning? <laughs> so, the song was made because... And for those of you out there, I, I will not use the actual word, but... He was known for being a sex offender and a murderer as well. So the song was a warning about the Muffin Man who lived on Drury Lane because of the crimes he was committing. Huh. That's hot. It was a... What was it, love? I said that's hot. Yeah, yeah it was a warning for children to stay away from him. Huh. That's kind of... Actually, that's actually in interesting. That's actually very interesting. <laughs> yes. And see, here you thought I was just being a dumbass. Yeah, yeah, because that's typical, but, huh. Oh, gee, thanks, and I love you, too. Love you, Huh. That's actually very interesting. Out of all things, I thought it was like something to do with Germany. I mean, it may have taken place in Germany. It sounds like my Germany. I don't know why, it's anything that involves pastries just reminds me of Germany when it comes to this kind of thing. Just because of, uh, oh, what was it called? Uh, Hansel and Gretel. Yeah, but Hansel and Gretel had it coming, though. Yeah, I mean, who the hell goes into a house in the middle of the woods? Made out of candy. It's, like, it's totally sus. Especially whenever there's a stranger, too. Yeah, they just walked right in like a, like they knew the bitch. Like, yeah, sure, eating your house made of candy was a great idea. Man, I certainly feel sleepy now. Yeah, that's that was really really weird. <laughs> All right, come on. Okay. So. All right. So that now brings. Now we got. <laughs> okay. So now so. it's time for my 
So now it's time for me to ask you question number nah. one. Okay. Oh, it's me, quite okay. Um, let's see. The depressed starship. What was the idea when that title first came to your head? Oh, oh shit. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, I'm asking when I, deep questions. When the Depressed Starship first formed, uh, we had regular players all the time. It was me, Jesse, Nick, Curtis, you, uh, Lindo was playing here and there, my buddy Bobby. There's, there's a bunch of us. Um, and the reason why I chose that title is because almost everybody on the Starship, because I, I like the idea of space pirates, so it was kind of like a mm -hmm. space pirate thing. But uh, what had happened was, is every, almost everyone that's part of the group has some form of clinical depression. So, we was like, fuck it, why not? I love that. That's fantastic. Now, so did it just, okay, so then there's actually a second part to, to this question. Okay. So, how did you get referred to as the captain, and why is it that you have your audience be the crewmates? So, I, I felt that... Uh, I'll answer the second question first. Uh, I felt like if I included everyone as crewmates, you know, it's more of a, hey, come play. You know, you can join and do whatever you want. Play with yeah. us. Just, there's rules in place if you do play with us. You know, anyone can be part of the of the Depressed Starship. That's that's the whole purpose behind it. Now, mm -hmm. the whole captain thing was is that all my friends view me as a leader. I don't know why. I don't know how I got stuck with it. But those are like, you're our captain, and we shall follow you to the pits of hell. I'm just like, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I was like, sounds great. <laughs> Love that. All right, uh, number three. Go ahead. Question number three. No. Yeah. yeah. What was life like growing? What was life growing up with me like? Oh, honestly, you're the, the only person that actually, like, hang out with me, play with me, play video games. Ah, shit! That uh, play with video games and stuff like that with. You're really the only, uh, sibling I bonded with. Well, yeah, I mean, I had a good time doing it. Sometimes it was forced, like, I had plans that I wanted to do, but I was like, nah, you got to do this. I'm like, oh, okay, I don't mind. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's fair. You're kind of one of the the reasons why my personality is the way it is today. Oh yeah, I'm very well aware that I, I don't shaped know if that's who you are. a good are. thing or a bad thing, but I, I definitely shaped who you are. Yeah. Well, that's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know, but it's there whether we like it or not. All right, your turn. All right. Um. Oh shit, Speed Shark pushed me off. Okay, I want question number three this time as well. What was it like growing up with the likes of me? Oh, interesting. We both had the same thing for question things. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, for number three, that was weird. So, for the first four years of your life, I would say it was very uneventful because you were never home. Yeah, um, you, you um... You and Seth dropped me on my head a lot. That also explains my personality. Oh, yeah, we'll get to that here in a minute. Um, so, what happened was you uh, would stay at Grandma's all the time because Dad, Dad couldn't watch you. There was no babysitter because Misty was never around. And when she was around, mm -hmm. she was high off her ass in her room doing whatever the fuck. Mm -hmm. So, you, you needed somewhere safe to be, and that's where you went for the first four years until you started school. Yeah, um, I, I, I remember doing preschool down there. Yeah, so, and then then, uh, then I then whenever kindergarten came back around, whenever I started going up to bed, and then uh, shortly after that, we um, you started coming around more, and we had uh, Dad had told us that you know because at first I didn't hang out with you a while for a while because mm -hmm. I was you know I was typical. Let's see, uh, when you were five, that would maybe 14, so, yeah, I was a moody, depressed teenager. 
Yes, there is. I'm almost 20. Oh god, I, I, I will be 20 next year. Oh god. <laughs> I love how that, that, that's what you take from this. Um, yeah. And you'll be 20 now. You'll be almost 30. Shut up. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, like, my imagination, I gotta use it a lot more because I was play. I gotta play with you a lot, and I hung out with you, got to know you, and we became best friends. We played a lot of video games together. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it'll, and then, to be fair, it'll, 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 it was more or less you played video games, I sat there and watched. Well, I'd let you play with me. <laughs> Unless it was Zelda. You were very hardcore about Zelda there for a while. Oh, dude, I fucking love Zelda. Like, let me, let, let, <laughs> Didn't let me you tell get you. mad at Seth one day because he accidentally deleted all your progress? Oh, right. I, I was almost done with Majora's Mask, and that is like the hardest <laughs> fucking Zelda game on the planet, so... Um, and then, you were always a sweet, caring boy, and now you're filled with rage and anger. Um, me and, Zeth, me and Seth knocked a tooth out of your mouth. Two of them. Well, Seth knocked a tooth out of your mouth, and Dad blamed me for it. Let me just go ahead and put that out there. And I, then I, the second one was me play, face playing to the wall while we were wrestling. You face planted a dresser, yes. Yes. And yes, yes. we were like, shut up, shut up, like, shut up, shut up, shut up. And I'm sitting there just minding my own business, like, Dad. And he came up and kicked both mine and Seth's ass over it because, quote, I should have not allowed Seth to rough house with you next to a dresser. To be fair, to be fair, this was after the head incident, and he banned us from wrestling. Which head incident? The one where I split my head up. Oh, like yeah. Like yeah. Maybe four months after I got the stitches out. Yeah, I remember because I kept telling Seth to stop and he didn't want to. Yeah. But to yeah. be fair, you, you, you were part of it too. Uh, I didn't do anything. <laughs> you, you, you wouldn't get close to me, but you'd get close with Seth. Well, when, yeah, because when it went down to because if I hurt Seth, it's no big deal. Your dad's baby. Yeah, there's yeah. a difference. <laughs> Yeah, Huge yeah. difference. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I graduated high school and disappeared for a year. And when I got back, I disappeared yeah. for another year. Yeah. Finally started coming around, and by that point, you were almost a teenager. And you were about 11, 12 years old when I came back, and you were starting to develop your own self, finally. Yeah. So... Yeah. And then once high school came around, I, I developed a mixture of your and Seth's personality. Yeah, I don't know how you got Seth's personality, because I think you two started hanging out once I left, and that got real weird. No, me and him barely talked to each other. I think it was more or less me going like, Oh, hey, he gets laid if he acts like this. Let's see what happens. Oh. And it worked. I mean, fair. <laughs> and it worked. Seth, <laughs> Seth did get a lot of tail. He did. He, he, he really, I don't know how, with his personality, but... It did, but... Because well, girls are attracted to Seth's personality. The hey, I'm invincible personality. Yeah. Alright! <laughs> Next one. Is it your turn? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I want question two. No, nah, no, nah, I mean, like, it's it's your turn. Like, oh. I want question four. Question four, you dirty whore. Okay, give me just one second here. Shit. I gotta get up this wall. Okay, you are you are failing. You're failing at life. You are. Up, 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 there you go. There you there you go. Okay. Question four. What is something that you have done to me that I am not aware of? Hmm. Hmm. The only thing I can think of was like fuck with your video. Uh, That's about it. Now, if you say something like put your dick in my mouth, I'm gonna like throat punch you. <laughs> no, um. 
I don't know if you remember your teddy bear or not that you used to have when you was a little kid. That big ass teddy bear? Yeah, the one that mysteriously disappeared. <laughs> nah. Grandma has that one, so I, I don't know what one you're talking about. No, you had like a teddy bear for dad's house too. Oh, yeah, no, I had no idea. Yeah, uh, that was your favorite teddy bear at dad's house. And uh, I kind of ripped off its fucking head. And I decided that the best idea was to put it in Alexis's room underneath her bed. And when dad found it, he grounded her. Why? Why what? What was your intentions? Like, did I you get mad at a video game and went, oh, that's closest object? Uh, no, you broke a game of mine. So I broke your teddy bear. Are you fucking shh? Specifically, it was my Kingdom Hearts game that I had for fucking ever. No! Oh, fuck! And that's karma finally getting me in the ass for that one. You there? Yeah, I'm still here. You there? Yes. Hello? Xander? Xander Dander? And he's gone again. I'll be back in a second. But hey, we got only got one more question each, I think, so it works out. I just want to say to everybody that want, like next time, all of this will be coming. At least in a decent way. I'll get my internet fixed, and we'll actually have a peaceful game to play. <laughs> Wait uh, <a> minute, <laughs> so that brings us to our last question. Okay. Oh, that's good. I have two questions. Okay. Well, then go ahead. Um. So let's go back to the one question I asked you before: mm -hmm. Giant Gingerbread Man from Shrek. Yes. Versus the Marshmallow Man from the Ghostbusters. Now, why, why do you think the Marshmallow Man would win? So, I feel like it's like a, a SpongeBob situation where he's so soft that all his punches are just going to feel like small little tickles. Yeah. Kind of like when Flats but, the Flounder fought him. Here's also the I issue with that. Uh-huh. The giant Gingy, is that his name? His name was Mongo. Mong, mo Mongo? Mongo, yes. Mongo. Mongo, whenever he got hit with a fucking fireball, he laughed at it. It wasn't a fireball. As he was falling. Keep in mind, it was a fireball attached to spikes. Yeah, a fireball attached to spikes. Yes, he but was you gotta think, though. The Ecto. Uh, wait, how did the. How did the Marshmallow Man die? I remember. I know he exploded. I think they used the, the little blasters they used. Yeah, yeah, I think though those things shoot out plasma, which is what's on the surface of the sun. Yes, but who's to say that normal fire just wouldn't kill those things? Well, As I proven in the new Ghostbusters movie. Well, I mean, you do have a point there, but you gotta think, though. This is a giant marshmallow. The most it's gonna do is just slightly melt some of the marshmallow off. Well, here's the thing. If you even catch a little bit of them on fire, do you not know how fast marshmallow catches fire? 
Well, it takes a minute for me to get the whole marshmallow on fire, but yeah, I know how fast the marshmallow can catch fire. Of course, fire. to be fair, Jinji does not have access to fire. No. So... But Jinji, I think, would have more mobility. Yes, but... Have you seen... Go on. Mongo. Yes. Mongo had more mobility. But Jin... Like, have you seen J Jinji move? Definitely, like, can move in any fucking shape? Yeah. Yeah, but so if you take out the legs, they're, they're done. I still think that he. he, he can run, run also, I, I feel He's personally like the marsh. I feel personally the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man would have been taller than Mongo. So I feel that he could easily have more strength or crushing. Ah. I can look this up. How tall is Mongo? I have been. Mongo. Oh, in, uh, from Shrek. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's completely fair. Uh, Marshmallow Man was 112 feet tall. Yeah, so that's like 80 some odd more inches tall. Or feet. Yeah. That's like saying Godzilla versus... I got eliminated. That's like saying Godzilla versus King Kong is a baby. It's just not gonna happen. That, to be fair, that's, that's more or less like a Godzilla versus Zilla kind of thing there. Yeah. So, I feel like, in all honesty, Stay Puff Marshmallow Man's got this one. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I can agree with that now, because now seeing the height, the difference. Yeah, yeah, I, I can fully agree with you. Okay, what's, what's your last question? Uh... What is your five-year plan? five-year plan well my hopes is that at least get some kind of attention on YouTube I hope that for attention on YouTube um, or TikTok you know some kind of social media platform to boost up my followers it's that way not even like enough like I'd be happy if I got a hundred you, you know what I mean yeah, I mean it's realistic. That, I've almost that, done it. Cause that's that's something. <laughs> and yeah, if I go ahead and like aim for, oh, let's say a thousand by five years, that's 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 kind of pushing it. I'm how often I post, how often I post things on other platforms. It's just, it would just depend on like my uh, uh what's the word. My involvement with everything else. Yeah. Like if I, I mean, went live once a week, or like if I had consistency, pretty much, I might be able to do it. Well, yeah. I mean, you got inconsistently consistent now. Now you don't have a choice. Uh huh. But the 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 thing is though, that with the issue of work, that's what I run into is being tired all the time. Yeah. I mean, it happens. That's I mean, why. Yeah. You're working 16-hour days, three uh, at least three days a week. Plus yeah. the additional two eight-hour yeah. days. Yeah. So like, my, my best bet would be like a live stream on Monday whenever I'm off for the whole day. Yeah. I like because I'm I'm off the whole day for Monday and like just like, record on Sunday. There you go. Yeah, that's that's what I thought about, but I. It, yeah. What about you? What's your five-year plan? Uh, well. I don't really know. I think I'm going to try and keep at this whole streaming thing. Hopefully hit 500 followers here in the next two years. and that I feel that's reasonable. I mean, I mean I'm almost made 100 in two years. So why not 504? And um, I want to eventually maybe on the... Fi like, maybe on... So that's technically year two. So by year five, maybe have 1,500 followers. Small, you know, focused, uh, make, some, make, about, make, make a little money off of it, not too much, not too much going on there. Nothing. <laughs> it's okay, you're gonna steal this video anyway, so you'll hear it. <laughs> that's, that's fair. Okay. So, for my last question. Uh huh. 
for all those people who are kind of the same as me, you'll know exactly where this is from. Would you rather have unlimited bacon, but no more video games? Or would you have... Or would you rather have games, unlimited games, but no games? Hold on, I repeat that. <laughs> would you rather have unlimited bacon, but no more video games? Okay. Or would you rather have games, unlimited games, okay? Like, any game you would ever want, a unlimited games, okay? But no games. I, I don't understand. What do you, it's a simple question. It's, the, it's unlimited bacon, but no more video games. Or unlimited games, and no more games. And no so more. Or the other. So I have unlimited games, but no games, or unlimited yes. bait, huh? Yes. What? Okay. That doesn't make I. I guess we'll have to go with the bacon one, because either way, it, it is a simple fucking question. Okay, it is a simple fucking question. Unlimited bacon, no more video games. <laughs> unlimited video games. But no games. This is a fucking question. <laughs> but if I have unlimited video games and no and no games, then I have nothing to play. Yes. So I guess I'm gonna go with unlimited bacon and no video games because the question's weighted towards me choosing. To go with unlimited bacon and no video games. The fuck you gonna do in your pastime, dude? Uh, bro, I have heart problems. Choose the unlimited games and no games, dude. But that means I have nothing to do. Well, yeah. What do you mean you have nothing to do? You have unlimited games. But you said I have no games. Yes. So if I have unlimited games and no games, that means I have no games. No, you have games. You just don't have games. Like board games? Any game. Then how do I have unlimited games? <laughs> <laughs> You're making my brain hurt. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> oh shit. So I'm gonna have oh, to go man. with the unlimited bacon. At least it can be low sodium bacon. What the fuck's wrong with you? I have you know heart how problems. Do your heart? You know how much damage that'll do to your heart? But you'll have no video games to play. That's not what the fuck? Okay, but the problem is, is I have unlimited video games, but no games, meaning I have nothing to play. Yeah. So how am I gonna have unlimited video games and have no games at the same time? <laughs> I don't think you're understanding. I'm not understanding. <laughs> okay, okay. Here, here. I'm, I'm gonna say it again. Okay. I don't think you're, I, I don't think you're hearing what's going on. <laughs> would you rather have unlimited bacon but no more video games? Or would you rather have games, unlimited games, but no more games? Well, <laughs> I don't think I'm understanding, but it, my thought process is that I'm not getting anything if I choose the second option. I mean, I'd rather have unlimited video you mean games. You're getting unlimited games. I don't understand what you mean by you're not getting anything. You're you said getting I, unlimited games. I'm getting unlimited video games, but no games. Yes. I mean, I would probably take the unlimited video games then. Why? You get. But then you won't be able to play any games. I see? See? This is the problem. This is why I'm gonna go with the unlimited bacon. At least I can sell the bacon. Make a whole fucking company. Richard Walters fucking bacon company. All you all you can oh, eat shit. fucking bacon. We oh, harvest God, it from alien pigs. Oh god, I'm laughing so hard I have a fucking headache. <laughs> oh shit. Oh my god, I'm gonna get oh. first. Oh, yeah, first. Oh, damn. I'm coming uh, hard and fast. Poppy! Fuck. <laughs> Prince Finn sends your favorite thing. 
a koala bear. Uh, yeah, here it is. I'm a eucalyptus. Eucalyptus. <laughs> I don't like koala bears anymore. <laughs> uh, All right. Oh, man. All right, so Xander, I have three topics for you to choose for next week. Okay. We can either talk A, about your favorite video game and why it's your favorite video game. Okay. B, we can pick a serial killer and talk about serial killers. Or C, we can talk about dad. Two of those are good ideas. <laughs> Which one's the bad idea? Talking about that. <laughs> well, then you have two options to choose from. Because every now and then, Dad does watch my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't watch mine, so... It's only when I tell him something funny happens. Oh. Yeah. He doesn't watch the whole thing. He, he just skips to that point. <laughs> He'll sit there and hear our stories about him and be like, Motherfuckers, <laughs> well, guess what coming up right now that they don't get now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Eucalyptus! <laughs> I'm gonna say... Let's do video games. All right, that works for me. Top five video games. Top five video games and why? Yes. All right. This is simple for me. And we need a third person. A third person? Yes. For that one thing, we need at least a third person. Oh, for that. I have an idea. No. For oh. the video games one, we need, a, we need a third person. Well, who's gonna be a third person? Because here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna get to someone, okay? Uh-huh. And whoever, I don't know who the third, third person would be, but we're gonna get them, and they will be the judge, and we have to convince them on why that's a good game. I mean, I'm down for that. Yeah. Yeah, I got disconnected. That's about, that's about it. All right, oh, I, I, all right. <laughs> so, give me one second, Xander. Games, new games. Ooh. You have a bad? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay, 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 okay. We have to. Do two things before we leave this. Okay. One, check out Omnibrol on YouTube. Okay. That, that is a must. O M I R O L L. Now, and also, we gotta try and say the same thing without knowing what the other person's gonna say, pretty much, at the end of this. Uh, okay. Sound good? Okay, this is gonna be a shit show, but sure, why not? Okay. <laughs> All right. Whenever you're ready. Hang on, wait, let me try and think of it. Okay, three, two, one. Go. I. What the, the fuck? It's... What the fuck? I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> oh, here is life from New York. It's Saturday night. <laughs> and I'm like, I have no fucking clue what's happening. <laughs> It worked so perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you know, right. Dad. You know, Dad tunes and He's like, these guys are fucking retarded. These are my kids. <laughs> yeah. All right, everyone. Show is out. <laughs> <laughs>